Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I'm going to show you on entering the basic info in Symbility. Some of this stuff might already be in the system for you, but I want you to understand where all the information is at. So when you're doing a claim, you'll know, uh, you know where to get some information. So <clears throat> If you ever have questions, you can call, uh, email me at Hector Mendoza, Justin at yahoo.com. Here are some of my videos that I have posted. Uh, this is an eight-part series on how to become an independent adjuster, where to go, how to take your tests, and things of that nature. Uh, here are some other videos that I have posted in YouTube. It's a, it's a few of them. It almost explains almost everything about Xactimate. Now I'm starting to put stuff in Symbility. Okay, so let's go to Symbility. There's some other uh, courses or videos that show you uh, a lot of the stuff that uh, you should already know by now. So basically, you know, on my last video I showed, I, I explained what this, all this stuff is and one thing I didn't talk about was when you create the a new claim, this is where all your information would be. <clears throat> like this would be the insured. Uh, the insured name. Okay. <clears throat> then, you know, you would put a policy number. Uh, you would select what kind of uh, loss you have, you would put the date of loss, the time that it occurred. Then the deductibles, if you don't put a thousand dollar deductible and everything, this is where you put all, all your information. You know, you'd put the policy number, uh, you know, what kind of building it is, how many times they renew their policy. Like I said, this is probably going to be done by the inside people, but I just wanted to show you where this information is uh, is inputted. Then, you know, you have all your structures here. Uh, your, you know, your structures, how buildings, contents, additional living expense, and then you can create additional ones by going in here and adding new coverages. Okay, so, um, you know, <clears throat> Then, you know, you would put your limits, you know, like let's say it was 100,000 on, on the uh, structure. You know, 10% of that would be 10,000 uh, if you have a fixed $1,000 deductible. So if these things were, had their individual d deductibles, uh, or you could just click here and the deductible would be overall you would only have one deductible for everything, okay? <clears throat> uh, so some other information that might uh, help you, it would be, you know, your, uh, your, oh, I, I, once you create it, it's going to ask you uh, if, uh, if you want to create a new database for your, uh, taxes, you know, by zip code, uh, I already did, so it's just asking me if I want to download a new price list. I don't. So, and, and it's, it's selecting this one, so I'm going to say okay. <clears throat> um, so, uh, you can also go into configure data, uh, configure layout, and you can put your overhead and profit uh, you can put your waste factors, you know, how you want your waste being handled, your, you know, how you want your minimum charge, uh, how you want, you know, how to handle your minimum charge and also about your depreciation, you know. So, uh, and like I said, a lot of that stuff is already set from, from the inside adjusters. So now... So let's just go and uh, go into your structures. Now that you have that ready, now 
you can go into your structures. Now, let me see. There might be something else here. Let me see. Um, this information here would be the, the you know the house information. So one thing that you do want to do right before you start is go right here where this is a, a originator. Here you can go in and you see right here where it says inspection schedule. You can click here, or you you know first you would first I mean this is already selected, but you would click here and tell it uh, the date that you contacted the insured. That's the first thing you want to do. Then once you talk to him, then you would put when the inspection is to occur. So you know you're going to keep this note so everybody knows what you're doing. Okay, so we're going to hit OK. So basically, that's all I wanted to talk to about in this part. Uh, then now we're going to create some uh, uh, some diagrams. Okay, so you can watch the next video and it'll show you how to do some diagrams. I just wanted to show this uh, before we start getting into diagrams. Thank you for watching. And if you have uh, any questions, don't hesitate to email me.